friends, it's Cory from Hey Let's Make Stuff, and in today's video, I'm using my new Glowforge Aura to engrave pencils. If you're new to the Glowforge Aura, it is a craft laser, which means that it is a smaller and less powerful laser than something like a Glowforge Pro or other CO2 lasers. That being said, it can still make a bunch of projects like these pencils. I have a whole video review on the Glowforge Aura that I will go ahead and link as well. Engraving pencils with a laser cutter is actually super easy. Not only are we gonna engrave the pencils, but we are also gonna create a jig, which is basically a physical template for us to put our pencils into so we know exactly where we're going to engrave. This is not the first laser I have used to engrave pencils. A few years ago on my blog, I used my Glowforge Pro to engrave pencils, and I'm using that same process here with the Aura. I am gonna change up one thing though. So this is the pencil jig that I made using my Glowforge Pro. I made it out of draft board. You can use pretty much any material you'd like, but I engraved pencil jig up here at the top. Now the Glowforge Pro is a much stronger and more powerful laser and it engraved this pretty quickly. I actually for this project created a new pencil jig file, which you can get below, um, that doesn't have the word pencil jig. And that's only because it takes a long time for the Glowforge Aura to engrave. And the word pencil jig is just not necessary. So you can download both this and the pencil jig free version below. Um, but if you wanna do this one, just know that that engraving time is going to take you quite a while, just because the Glowforge Aura is a less powerful laser. You actually only need two supplies for this project. When I cut this with my Glowforge Pro, I use draft board, but I haven't tested cutting draft board in here yet, so I'm just gonna use their proof grade cherry. This is just one of their proof grade plywoods and it will work fine for this project. Proof grade materials are basically materials that have been qualified by Glowforge, meaning they have been made by Glowforge and they have the settings dialed in. So using proof grade, really easy, especially if you're a beginner. The other thing you need are pencils. <laughs> so I'm using a bunch of very colorful pencils because I love color. Um, and that's all you need. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and put my proof grade cherry into the Glowforge here. I'm just gonna set it here in the bed and center it just like that. Now when I close that lid, the camera in the lid is going to go ahead and take a picture of my material and we can hop over to the Glowforge app to create our project. This is the Glowforge app, and like I've said in other videos, it is pretty basic, but it will do what you need it to do. So I've uploaded my pencil jig here to the Glowforge app, and you can see here that it has come in over here on the left as an engrave file. So to start, let's go ahead and make sure we change that to cut file because we definitely don't want to engrave that whole thing. The next thing we're gonna do is move it up here to the corner of our material because we don't wanna cut in the center of our material and waste material. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it up here in the top left. Now, because it's a proof grade material, Glowforge has read that QR code down here in the lower right and said that it's light cherry plywood. That is exactly what this is. And that's all you need to do. This is ready to go ahead and print. So I'm gonna click print in the upper right here and it will take time to process and prepare my print. And you can hear my Glowforge working as it is scanning and centering that laser head so we can cut our project. The Glowforge app is telling me that it's gonna take a little over 36 minutes to cut this file. Yes, that's a long time, but again, this is a craft laser and it is smaller and slower than a big laser. So I'm gonna go ahead and press that blinking button and the Glowforge Aura is going to cut my project. All right, our pencil jig is cut out. So the next step is to remove the um, the masking. Now for some masking I use a little uh, plastic razor blade and for some I use uh, Gorilla Tape but for big sh pieces like this because it's just going to come off in one piece I just use my fingernails so I'm just going to go ahead and get into the corner peel it back to reveal the jig. Just peel it all back here just like this. Now the nice thing about a pencil jig is that once you make it, you can use it as many times as you want, any kind of jig. Um, so that, you know, 30 something minutes of cutting that we did, you only have to do it once and then you can reuse this as many times as you want. And then don't forget to remove the masking off the back side as well, just like this. And now you have a beautiful pencil jig that you can use over and over. All right, I moved my Glowforge over here so I could access it a little better for the pencil part. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Glowforge here and I'm gonna put the pencil jig pretty much in the center. I'm gonna try and center it as best I can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the straighter it is, the easier your life will be. So go ahead and line it up. You can use that honeycomb on the bottom to help align it. 
and then you're going to place your pencils inside the jig. I'm using these sort of three-sided pencils in a bunch of colors here, but this will also work for hexagonal pencils or per perfectly round pencils. But let's go ahead and just stick our pencils in the jig. All right, now that I have all of my pencils in the jig, I'm gonna close the lid and we're gonna pop back over to the Glowforge app to um, put our words on our pencils. All right, so in the Glowforge app here, you'll see that I still have my Glowforge template and we're going to use that. So we wanna go ahead and put it basically over <laughs> the current pencils. And what we're aiming for is kind of to center this center pencil. Now there are 12 pencils in my jig, so really these two are sort of both the center pencils. Um, but for this one, we're gonna use this sort of yellow pencil here in the middle, and we're gonna use that as our focus pencil, and that will help us align all of our other um, engraving images so that they line up perfectly. So to start, we're going to set our focus. So go up here to the two dots, choose set focus, and it's gonna give us a little targeting thing, and I'm going to target where I wanna put that lettering on that yellow pencil. So I'm going to click that yellow pencil, and then the Glowforge is going to basically set the focus for this cut. Because these pencils sit so far above the actual bed of the laser, we want the focus to be set higher as well, so that's what this is doing right now. So you can see that our image changed quite a bit, and I'm actually gonna zoom in here so we can see a little bit better. And so I wanna align the jig with the pencil that we focused on, which is this yellow pencil. And you'll notice that it's quite off on these top and bottom ones. Don't worry about that, it's totally fine. We just wanna make sure that the one that we focused on is the one that we are um, working with to start. Now let's add our text. Go up here to the text tool and you can enter whatever you'd like. So I'm gonna do you are loved on all of my pencils. I'm going to choose League Spartan for my font. I'm gonna make it eight point font high. And then I'm gonna change the spacing to like 150 um, because I like my letters a little spaced out. I don't like when they all run together and they kind of end up doing that with engraving. Then I'm gonna put that exactly on that pencil where I want it. Now here's something that you need to know about cutting with a laser. Every laser is a little bit different and everyone, every laser has their little quirks and you probably should do some testing. So if you're just starting out and this is your first time engraving pencils, start here. See if this works. See if your engraving is in the center of the pencil on just a single pencil. I have done a lot of tests. I have a lot of pencils over there that say you are loved as I was trying to figure out how to get these perfectly aligned. And I have found that when I focus on this particular pencil, my Glowforge wants to move that um, engraving down just a little bit even though I have it perfectly aligned in the actual um, in the actual app here. And I think that's because of the fisheye lens. So for me, I move all of my images up just a bit. So they're more toward the top of my pencil. That's for me, that might not be for you. So I want you to go ahead and just try and engrave the single pencil to start, see where it is, see what it works for you. Maybe you're like, oh, I need to move my images up and down. Go ahead and do that. But for my laser, this worked best for me test for your own laser. So now I'm going to copy and paste and I'm going to use the um, jig guideline. I'm not gonna use the actual pencils themselves. I wanna use the actual jig guideline because we know that those are spaced correctly and we have them spaced correctly in the Glowforge. So let's go ahead and copy and paste. You can do that with your keyboard. If you're on a Mac, it's Command C, Command V. If you're on a PC, it's um, Control C and Control V. And then you can copy both and we can just continue to add our images here. And again, I'm putting them closer to the top of my little boxes here, just because I know that that's what my particular machine does. If your machine doesn't do that, don't do this. Then I can copy all six for my bottom pencils, move those down here, just like that. Now, one thing you can also do is you can select all, but not the jig. And then you can align them so they're all aligned, just like that. And then you can also evenly space them just to make sure they are evenly spaced. Now again, you may be looking at this bottom one and thinking, oh no, it's gonna you know, fall off the edge. It's not, I promise. It just looks like that because of the fisheye lens in the Glowforge, um, but it should be correct. Now it's time to set our settings. So let's go over here to enter settings and we'll make sure this is an engrave. And then we're gonna go to manual. I'm gonna set my speed to 100, my power, to four, and my lines to 405. You may find you want a completely different setting, and that's fine, this is another place where you can test, figure out what works best for your particular pencils. This may not work, um, but so far um, I've played around a little bit and I have found that this is working the best for me. All right, we are ready to make our file. So go ahead and click print, and it will prepare our print and give us a time that it will take to engrave these pencils. All right, 13 minutes and 47 seconds, let's go. All right, 
we are done. Let's go ahead and open up the Glowforge. I'm gonna pull out my pencil jig with my pencils. They turned out really cute. From the overhead view here, you can see that these are really centered now, even though they look like they would be too high on my pencils. Because I had told you before that that fisheye lens warps things a little bit, and I have found that that works best for me, these are perfectly centered. I would say that I may actually try lessening the power just a little bit, because on a couple of these yellow pencils, I do have a little bit of the um, charring, and I just don't love that. So. so I'll probably lessen that power just a little bit, and I think that would take care of that. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to engrave pencils with your Glowforge Aura. You can use this process for basically any laser that you have. I use my Glowforge Aura. I could have done this process in my Xtool M1 or my Glowforge Pro. If you have a different type of laser, you could do it as well. If you found this video helpful or informative, I would love a like. Subscribe to my channel for more content about the Glowforge Aura and all sorts of other crafty machines. I'll see you next week.